Welcome back, JC here. Here's how you connect the X8R receiver to the Flip32 Omnibus F3 and F3 Pro flight controllers. If you have the F4 or F4 Pro, this video is not for you and this will not work. I am actually making separate videos just for the F4 boards. Um, if you look in the top right of your screen and description below, I will leave links to my Omnibus playlist as well as a few other playlists where you will find these videos as well as many others. So going to the flight controller, uh, up here, this very top left pin is going to be your input pin, and you want to place your white wire on that with the red power wire in the middle and ground wire on the outside. I just soldered on a three wire servo cable like this. If you want to use pin headers, you can, that's fine, uh, and just use a standard three wire servo cable like this, uh, that works as well. Going to the X8R, normally it's set up in PWM mode, uh, which will mean a signal wire for each and every one of these channels. For one, this flight controller does not accept PWM receivers, but also uh, we have the option of SBUS, and with SBUS we will get 16 channels. SBUS is also faster than PWM, and we will only need 3 wires instead of 10 wires. So just take your 3 wire servo cable, plug it into these pins on the bottom right, like so, with the white wire towards the inside, ground towards the outside, and that's it. Now for telemetry. Uh, for you guys with the original F3 Omnibus, I placed my telemetry wire on UART number one, which is this pin here. Uh, specifically, this is the transmit pin for UART number one. Uh, if we go and look at the wiring diagram, you will see where uh, TX1, that is the pin that I'm using. You can use TX2, which is going to be the transmit for UART number two, if you so choose. Um, just remember to, if you do use TX2, remember to set TX2 as telemetry once we go into beta flight in just a second. For the F3 Pro guys, you don't get the through pins. You actually get these little connectors. Uh, now you can choose to use the connector on the left, which is transmit for UART number one. That will be the third pin down. Or on this side, you have UART number two, and the transmit pin is the second pin down. And that will be uh, this connector on the left or this connector on the right. Just a little tip for you guys, if you do need a harness like this that can plug into either one of these connectors, what you guys want to do is go to eBay, and what I do is search for JST SH 1.0 millimeter six pin or four pin, depending on which connector you want to use. And that will bring up uh, a bunch of different options, and you can just shop through here, find the cheapest one you want. Uh, just a little side note, uh, some of these come with the uh, female connectors, just in case the plastic ones on your flight controller ever break off you can use these for replacements. Okay, so now, regardless of which flight controller you have, you've picked the transmit on a UART port. And you remember the number of that UART, and you have to do that uh, once we go into beta flight. Going back to the X8R, if you look on this back side, you will see another diagram, and uh, what we are looking for is the S, which stands for smart port, and that will be the pin closest to this edge. So what I've done is uh, I just took a piece of wire, spliced in a single servo connector, and I will plug that in to the S pin, just like that. Now I know there is a positive and negative pins remaining, but we don't actually need an, an additional positive or ground wire because we are already getting power through the front. Uh, so you don't want to add in a second power and ground. This one wire is all you need. Now with everything wired, uh, let's just plug in a USB cable. That will power the flight controller and receiver both. If you have not yet bound your receiver, you need to go ahead and do that. You can look in my X8R or Tyrannus playlist and I have a video showing you how to do that. I've already bound mine, so if I turn on my transmitter. Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. I now get the solid green light, meaning that it has been properly bound and everything is working. 
once you get the saw green light you can continue so if we go into beta flight and connect first let's go to ports and because I placed my telemetry wire on UART number one first the first thing you want to do is uh, if you did place your telemetry wire on UART one you want to turn off the data because UART ports can only do one thing at a time then come over to telemetry and even though this is a free sky receiver these are different types of telemetry and the X8R uses smart port so you want to select smart port uh, just remember if you did put your telemetry on UART number two then make sure you turn on telemetry for UART two or it's not going to work now we can save and reboot uh, one thing I forgot to mention the signal or the S bus wire that we place on the flight controller from the receiver is actually on UART number three. It doesn't show it in the wiring diagram, but that's what it is, UART three. But we're not seeing it. So what we need to do is go to configuration and turn on RX serial because that's what S bus uses. Then come down here and choose what type of serial, which is S bus while we are here go ahead and turn on telemetry and then save and reboot now we want to go back to ports and we now see UART 3 so come over here underneath RX and turn on serial RX then save and reboot normally everything should be working now but for some reason with this flight controller it likes to reset our setting here back to PPM so set it back to RX serial once again save and reboot once again and now it should have saved so go back recheck and make sure that it's saved up here and down here with everything set and ready to go we can test it out by going to receiver if you move your joysticks around roll pitch yaw and throttle should be moving if you have any switches, then uh, you can go ahead and test those out now. Things are about to get real. Hybrid mode. Stunt mode active. Cheat mode active. Okay, we're good there. Now in the Tyrannus, we want to press menu to go to our models. Hold down the page button to go backwards a page to telemetry. Scroll down and press enter on discover new sensors. Once it's done, press enter again to stop discovery, and there is all of your telemetry. If you only see four sensors, this means you are not getting telemetry, it's not working. Those four sensors are actually coming from the receiver and not the flight controller. As long as your receiver gets power, even if the telemetry wire is not connected to anything at all, you will always get those four sensors. So the fix is just go back, recheck your wiring, recheck your setting changes in beta flight. Uh, maybe you have your telemetry wire on UART number two, but you turn telemetry on for UART number one or vice versa. Uh, so just go back and recheck everything. Also make sure that everything's saved because like I just showed you, sometimes things don't save uh, with this flight controller. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Like I said, check out the beta flight playlist I uh, left the links for you down below, as well as the Tyrannus playlist and the uh, X8R playlist. So, I will see you there.